So I was thinking, um, interesting how the social infrastructures course um, was started. Um, it's been going a while, it's actually been going since 2013. Um, but I was invited in um, 2011 by one of the deputy deans in the faculty to think about devising a course that would draw off the Global Citizenship Programme. So I was working on that programme before, before you came in as the programme manager. Um, and all engineering students have to do humanities elective, I think two. And this one would count as humanities, but be based in the Faculty of Engineering in the Built Environment. So they were very keen to invest in their students thinking much more socially about the broader kind of context in which they one day be professionals. It's hard to really give one, to put it into words. It was a life-changing, it was a truly life-changing experience. I learned so much about society and the main thing I learned about was my mind. My mind was initially wired to think in an engineering sense. I noticed this mainly when I was trying to do the assignments for social infrastructure. I realized I was trying to find the answers to the questions rather than truly understanding that there are no, some questions don't have answers and it's it's only through engaging the community that we can get closer to the solution that will best fit everyone. One of my main experiences has been that you, in university, often treated as a, a student number. Uh, and you sort of come to identify yourself as a student number. And you, there's no human interaction within it, within your course. And this was the first course that I've ever been to in the three years I've been here where I've actually felt like I am a person and I have my own opinions and as well as like there's a whole class around me which I can learn from and they all have their own views. Uh, so my experiences with the social infrastructure is uh, the experience that I had in District 6 and actually meeting the people who were affected by the system of the apartheid and like getting to to actually talk to them when, uh, about how it, they were affected, about the evictions that happened to them and how it, 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 it did tangle their relationship that they had with the people that they were living with. And then also with the Kylie Chat experience to see how people are, are really trying to get the living by hustling and doing all the informal businesses that were happening in there. And it's, yeah, it's been, I mean, what, 2013, so we've had eight or nine cohorts of students. Mm -hmm. um, and I've just been really struck by how the course has been seemingly very popular from quite early on. Yeah. Um, yeah, it makes me think about what professionals are trying to engage with the social context. Um, and I'd just be interested, um, Benita, from your point of view of coming in, obviously, this year, I mean, how you've, you were very brave, you jumped in to teaching on the course very early. I mean, how, what are your thoughts or feelings as well? Yeah, I know, I think for me, you know, it's been very insightful in terms of a kind of program, or kind of course that it is, mm. and what it offers students. I think the community engaged learning, uh, both philosophy and practice, mm. I think was very powerful within the course. And just being in the student presentations earlier this morning, you can see that it's made a huge impact in mm. students thinking about uh, co-production of knowledge and co-creation oh. of knowledge. So I like that the course does that in a very mm. meaningful way for students um, and for us at the GC program yeah. to see that that is what students relate to mm. and what they connect with. Mm. Um, and I think that that's what we need to build on going mm. forward in terms of, of the course. Mm. I've just been, I mean, I've been so struck by just reading a few of the student assignments and it's clear that um, there's a whole new way of thinking, quite a disruptive quite a disruption maybe to their, their more traditional paradigms and, and just that I think it's also the peer engagement that allows them to feel safe and willing to take on a new way of learning. I mean you've been in the class and seen some of the student engagement. I find it very difficult to describe this experience as a course because it's unlike any other course I've taken before. It's you don't learn from someone speaking, standing up and speaking to you. You learn from all the people around you. You learn from your experience, which is very unlike any other course that I've engaged with. Um, 
but it's definitely the type of learning is different. You learn, like I said, from people, you learn from your peers almost more than anyone else. Um, and then you engage with people in real situations and communities, and that's where the greatest form of learning comes. I think seeing that it's a humanities course, it really just pushes you to think outside of the engineering space. So to have a very open approach to having your own perspective or your own thoughts or your own experiences, whereas engineering is a very like, there's a distinct answer and there's a distinct way of approaching things. So I think it gives you a different take on the learning experience itself. Yes, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, we were just thinking of the group presentations and mm. how we were going to group students um, and considering that it can be quite a scary process to stand in front of a class and speak. Mm. But the students themselves, and exactly because of what you said, the peer, mm. peer learning and peer support, um, and I think the emphasis, emphasis around empathy and compassion in the classroom uh, is that the students organize themselves quite freely and openly within wow. the different mm, group presentations. True. And you could see that mm. um, as they presented. So I do think it becomes a part of students from what I can see being in the classroom. Mm. Um, mm. So they develop a sense of empathy, not only with connecting with communities, but also with each other mm, in terms of I peer agree. learning and support. Um, I would say it helped, like for me, it helped me voice out um, as an engineering student, like as a chemical engineering student, I would usually stay in one class. We didn't really interact with other engineering students or any other students. So um, this course actually made me have more friends and like made me learn more about like social, social aspects. I mean, I think the one thing that I was quite conscious of early on, because the numbers are relatively large for quite an engaged course, is working closely with the student facilitators. So past students who've, who've done the course and coming on as facilitators. Um, and I think that also models a kind of a role for students about sort of academic or educational leadership and facilitating the learning of others. And I think that exceptional team that we've worked with this year, particularly, but previous years as well, has helped has helped enormously to enable a lot of the learning. Absolutely. I think mm. it's also nice in a way to shift from, you know, one lecturer who's somebody who has a doctorate degree, exactly. you know, standing in front and sort of um, having the answers to the kind mm. of questions that's going to come from students. Mm. But I think in terms of modeling a team approach mm. with facilitators based in the engineering faculty, yeah. um, but also willing to engage in sort of what's, I suppose, more traditionally um, within the humanities faculty, the kind mm. of topics that we speak about around social inequality, social justice, I think really mm. models for students mm. what they can really do leaving the course. So it's not mm. only about being on the course, but also what True. happens in their learning and teaching and their thinking about learning and teaching mm. beyond the course. Mm. Yeah. The most beautiful thing is seeing someone coming with a different perspective of what this social infrastructure's course is and they leave with a whole new different perspective, a whole new world. Some people, most people have actually had actually given up on engineering on its own and saying, okay, this is, this is too much standards and too many things. But now they are sort of revived, uh, their, their hope is revived um, uh, by doing this thing. So for me, seeing that has, has, has helped me a lot as a facilitator. I mean, if there was one sort of one takeaway that I'm, I would, I would say from my years of running the course is that how many students have stayed in touch with me about what they're doing, how how the course has maybe influenced them, or um, they just kind of write me an email, a random email from time to time, and it's 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 quite moving to see that the impact does go beyond just when they finish the course. I think that's really important. Yes. We speak of that, but it actually seems to happen for some students. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I keep on thinking, so how do we integrate this kind of course mm. when we the kind of course, the kind of learnings and teachings in other parts of the university. Absolutely. You know? And going mm. forward, it'd be interesting to look at how, what are the possibilities and what mm. are the opportunities to do that. Absolutely. No, I think it's, I think it's, um, I think this course offers a lot of promise for, for future opportunities to innovate and think about new ways of doing and particularly around yeah. community engaged learning, which I think is a very, it's a relational way of learning. I think that's what's very moving in a way because it connects the, the head and heart to use that expression. But I think it's really important. Yes, no, absolutely. Mm. I think social connection, you know, like we were saying earlier, with peers, yeah. with communities, with their own, uh, I suppose, histories and backgrounds. True. It's important to be both relevant um, within the university, but also have that deep sense of connection yeah, so that there so. can be sort of that empathic learning mm. that takes place. Mm. Very yeah. important. Cool. Yeah. Best of luck as the course goes forward. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually, I just want to say maybe, um, it's been really good to have you starting your 
you know, as the GC program manager in, in, in the classroom, because Absolutely. I think that's where you see the work of the program and how we're trying to teach differently and get students to learn differently. So I'm hoping that jumping straight into the teaching has been a really useful way to you to, for you to think about the program and practice. Absolutely. I mean, I shared with the class the other day, you know, it was my induction orientation program. And what a better way yeah. <laughs> as a teacher and as somebody who's also a learner to start within the classroom yeah. because that's the best, best teacher you can get. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you, Janice. Thanks, Vanita. Thanks.